we have now two specific threat inhibitors that have been approved in a patient with metastatic non-small cell lung cancer uh, with a fusion of the red gene that accounts to two to three percent of the patients two drugs are approved in the us and in europe the first one is selpercatinib uh, overall in patients previously treated with platinum the response rate is 61 percent and a PFS uh, 24 months. In uh, 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 chemotherapy naive patients, the response rate is 84% and a PFS 22 months. The second drug is Pazetinib, where in a previously treated population, the response rate was 86% and the PFS 16.5 months. When in treatment naive, it was 72% sorry, percent response rate and PFS of 13 months. In, with both drugs, we see very nice intracranial activity with response rate that are higher than 50%. In terms of toxicity, we can say that both drugs eat uh, a red, but they also eat BGFR. So we have all the toxicity that can be related to anti androgenic agent, in particular hypertension, that is something you, that you have to monitor in these patients. Uh, liver toxicity with uh, AZT increase, also something that is frequently reported, and uh, uh, asthenia. With palzetinib, you can have a decrease of uh, uh, the uh, neutrophile in the blood. This is something also to monitor. And will, uh, with selpercatinib, in particular, in particular for seminotherapy, you might see some uh, uh, hypersensitivity uh, syndrome uh, that are quite easy to manage. So the remaining question here is um, probably in the field of resistance. There are a few studies uh, that have uh, uh, examined the, the, the first palzetinib uh, and pacatinib field with liquid or tissue biopsy. It seemed that a number of uh, red mutation is quite low, around 10%, meaning that um, <clears throat> the on-target mechanism of resistance might be minimal. Uh, it will be very interesting to see how this mechanism of resistance might impact or not the activity of the second generation inhibitors that are currently in phase one.